Hi everybody, Robert Dyer and welcome, welcome to the Robert Dyer channel. The National Park Service is up to their shenanigans again with the former Glen Echo Streetcar. To make a long story short, uh, Glen Echo Amusement Park was one of the top amusement parks in the United States for about six decades. And there was also a streetcar that went out from Washington, D.C. into Maryland up to Glen Echo Park. Eventually, like all streetcars, it was shut down. And then eventually after that in the 60s, some of the well-connected residents nearby were able to get the park shut down for a variety of reasons we'll discuss in a future video. But the bottom line was the park was shut down but we still have land which they then arranged to have the National Park Service take over to make sure nobody would start up an amusement park or build anything there and instead of preserving the park the rides were all demolished including the historic wooden roller coaster that had an 85 foot drop all gone except for a few structures and the facade at the entrance to the park. So fast forward to 2013 where today we have large growing residential populations in the Palisades all the way out to Glen Echo. We have the rapidly expanding Intelligence Campus on Sangamore Road. We have the Sibley Hospital Campus that's growing every day. And there's a great demand now for the streetcar to come back. And the streetcar right-of-way is still there all the way out. And so suddenly on Thursday morning, there's an announcement that the NPS is having a meeting regarding seizing part of the streetcar right-of-way just beyond the park to make it a bike path. And of course this would block a streetcar from going anywhere beyond that and potentially could lead to some of those same people who shut the park down to say let's have a bike path all the way into D.C. on that old right-of-way thereby stopping the streetcar that they don't want coming out there. So let's take a look at the map here. Okay, so here's a map just to give you an idea. Start off here at Georgetown University, cross Archbold Park, and then over here in between Canal Road and the reservoir. It keeps going up through this parkland, through the Palisades, crosses Arizona Avenue on a trestle, then it turns on to Sherrier Place which it takes all the way up to Norton Street which is where you could have a station for Sibley Hospital which is this big campus here and then it turns to the left of the reservoir there and it continues out through this wooded strip between Brookmont which is a neighborhood and the Clara Barton Parkway then it goes by the intelligence campus up here and keeps going between MacArthur and Clara Barton Parkway until it gets all the way up here to Glen Echo Park this area just beyond the park where they want to seize a portion of the right-of-way which continues beyond here out to Cabin John and use it as a bike path which would essentially block a future streetcar so I just wanted to make this video to get the word out so we can nip this in the bud. I'm going to put links to my blog and the project website down below so you can get more details about it. And the bottom line is I believe Glen Echo Amusement Park should be rebuilt and the streetcar line restarted for the benefit of everyone rather than a project that benefits a few well-connected people. So if you like amusement parks and streetcars, I hope you like this video. Share it with your friends to get the word out. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.